Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Veronica Dominguez, Independent Sensei Consultant from Toronto. And for today's video, we are going to be doing a mini haul. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Um, it's mostly waxes. Let's just get right into the video and make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe because I have seen quite a few new subscribers. So make sure you guys hit that and make sure you hit that little notification bell so you are aware of all future Sensi videos from me or anything else really because I'm trying to dabble on into other things. So... With all that said, let's get right into the products. All right, so let's just start off with the non-wax products, basically, because there's not too many of those. So the first thing I have here is a shimmer body wash. Now, I specifically got this one because I just, I don't know what the scent smells like, first of all. And the scent is coming back in January for the Bring Back My Bar, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but I just, I don't know, this... The scent, it says cherry, apricot, white musk, and sponge sugar. This, this sounds like something that I would probably like, so I'm really hoping I end up liking this. And I ended up getting this because I'm like, yeah, I wanted to smell it. And then I realized I already have one of these in my closet, so I'm kind of like, ugh, it's okay. If I love, love the scent, then it's okay because now I got two of them. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's for myself. Um, and then I also got, these are for my customer so one of my customers got the counter clean and squeeze the day and this is so exciting so this is the old packaging so basically they have new packaging but they obviously want to finish all their older packaging and this is the new packaging this is for my other customer this is in cloudberry dreams how freaking cute is the packaging it's actually really cute. I like it in like I like it more seeing it in person. I know there's there were a lot of like like there were a lot of people that preferred just like the simple, you know, clean packaging, which in a way I kind of do like this. I, I almost find it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to me. Um but this is like it's just more fun. But it's still cute. I mean as long as it does its job, that's all that matters. But I can see like why some people did prefer this more simple, uh, basic packaging. Um, counter clean, guys, is amazing. It doesn't just clean like your counters. Like you can literally put this in almost any fabric, and this will clean any of those stains out. My cousin got this. Use this on her shoes. Okay, her shoes. They were suede, and it completely came out. Like. It was amazing like it, it really really did the job and really cleaned it properly I don't know I find that this is like magic in a bottle so if you guys haven't tried that out you guys need to need to try it then for myself and this is while supplies last by the way just saying it's not in the catalog um, it's not in the catalog it's not in the harvest but it's part of the fall collection so there you have it so um, yeah we have here the counter clean and I got this in cider mill um, they also have it in autumn road trip I out of the two cents I think cider mill is way better I don't know what it is about it I just prefer it um, so yeah oh my god I'm all over the place guys so yeah counter clean and then it comes also with a dish soap and it also comes with the hand soap of course my ass is going to peel this back and see how it smells because sometimes I almost find that like um, the scent smells a little bit different in the cleaning products if I can open this in the cleaning products because I had gotten for the summer collection the man mango and mandarin mandarin and mango nectar um, the whack as I was saying I was trying to open up this freaking bottle um I just wanted to smell how this smells like because I found that for the summer collection they had the mandarin and mango nectar and I found that the wax smelt a little bit different than the uh, the cleaning products and I actually preferred the set in the cleaning products just because the uh, the wax bar does it doesn't last even though I still really like the set it just doesn't last and I'm so bummed about it I wish the strength of the cleaning products were in the in the wax bar that's just me personally i just i just wish it was stronger that's all because it's it is a good set so this one's the cider mill so i finally got it open oh wow i'm gonna have to see how the wax bar performs to see if it's like equivalent to the strength of this set oh this smells so so pretty oh my god amanda this is my cousin 
If you're done your mango, your mandarin and mango nectar counter clean, I think you need to get this one. My cousin is obsessed with fall. I think she's the one who's the most obsessed with fall. Out of everyone I know, she like starts it nice and early. She would definitely love this. Oh my God, this smells so good. Even I'm obsessed with this right now. I cannot wait. Like, and I'm still not done my mango and mandarin nectar dish soap. I'm gonna have to finish it soon. Wow, that was like forever and ever on the cleaning products, ridiculous. Then I have here two of the lavender essential oils that I got for my customer. I got a pack of light bulbs and I got some dryer discs that a customer of mine wants to try out. If there's something from the laundry line you guys are like looking to try out, I would say the number one is washer whips. The washer whips are so good. You guys, there's a smaller tub that you guys can get so you don't have to get that massive one. Just to test it out, I think you guys would fall in love with it. It's such a good product. Um, and then I would also recommend the dryer discs just because these are reusable so you're not throwing in all those, um, uh, oh my god, what are they called again? The dryer sheets, oh my god. Uh, the dryer sheets where you're always like, you know, this is reusable, it's amazing, and it comes with a scentsy scent that you guys can pick, like, what more can you really love from that? So I do have a few warmers, The war some of these warmers I'm actually going to unbox in a different video just because I want to show you guys, they're all brand new from the catalog. Um, I have here this one which is for a customer, this is from uh, the catalog, this is the lily pad, why do I call it lily pad? This is the lily garden warmer. Uh, for a customer of mine and then for myself this is what I use my half offs on okay guys just say so I ended up getting the Salerno warmer I got oh my god my back the glisten warmer which is the one I'm like the most excited to unbox so I can't wait to do that one and then I got the palette warmer so at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to get this one but then I started looking at the pictures and I think I'm going to really really love this one I think like just out of the pictures that I had seen I was kind of like mm, I don't know if it looks that like interesting or special to like get it but then as I saw some people like unboxing and like posting pictures I'm like I think I'm gonna have to get this one it looks very beautiful it's very simple so I can't wait to show you guys that one but now it is time to get to the waxes, which is my favorite part, of course. And then I have my dog here, who I think wants to go on the bed. One second, come here, Chuchu. What are you doing down here? What are you doing down here? You wanna say hi? Look. He has so much hair, he's getting a haircut this week. Is he, aren't you? We're gonna finally get a haircut. Cause he won't let me. Guys, it is so hard for me to cut the hairs on his face. Look at that, look at that. He just, he won't. And like, I'm also like a little bit scared of like hurting him, which I know I'm not going to like nick him or anything. Like I'm always super careful when I am cutting any hairs around here, but it's around the eyes that I just, oh my God, I just can't. It's so hard, so hard. Do you wanna go in the bed? Yeah? I love you so much, oh, you're so cute. Oh my God, my hair guys. I've been debating if I wanted to cut my hair. I don't think I can part with it yet. But I never know what to do with my hair. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, what? How do I tame this? Like, and I'm horrible when it comes to like styling and stuff. Like, it's just not me when it comes to like looks and stuff. My nails are what usually have to be on point. Aren't they so cute? And yes, they are my own nails. I always get asked, but I'm I take pride in my nails. Except for like the last four months where I got so busy that I stopped doing them, but. My nails take precedence over everything else. My hair comes after, because I'm like, eh, whatever, it's, it's hair. You know, it's okay. Anyways, I've been, oh, wow, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm blabbing on a lot. So we have our Milo couch here with all the waxes so that they don't melt. Hopefully none of them melted, because literally I left my house at 1.30 to go to work. And they dropped off this kit at 150. Just my luck. So then basically I got home and it was like, time was it like 10.30 and the package was outside and I'm like, oh my God, thank God no one stole it. 
Thank God no one stole a big ass box of Sensei, but I mean that's kind of heavy, so it would look kind of a little bit big, like you know, if someone did. Okay, I think I need to throw my hair back here for now. Okay, so we have yeah, this is me preparing for the waxes, guys. I just have way too much hair here. All right, before we get into the usual waxes, we have here this one, which I will be doing a separate video on its own. This is the Glamorous You Collection. It's really cute, actually. And then you have here all the names with the notes inside. Makes it really simple for like, if you're giving it as a gift and they're looking at it, they're like, oh, okay, that's what it smells like. So yeah, and this little pouchy. So that will be in another, another video. I have quite a few videos to film now, guys. That makes me very excited. It makes me feel like I'm back on my little mojo. We have here three of the Dancing Sugar Plum. Okay, let me smell this. Oh my god, guys. It's been forever since I've been smelling any... Well, the fall stuff did just come out, so... Oh, it's just so nice to smell something different. Apart from, like, the spring and summer stuff. Oh, so good. This one's such a good scent. Then we have here pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This one it was really popular from last year. Oh, so good. This is a really, really nice pumpkin scent. It has that cinnamon in here. I don't find the cinnamon to be too strong. It has the sweetness as well. I think that this one would... This one is under the spice category, and I think that this one should be under the bakery. Personally, that's just what I think. Graham cracker crunch. This is a really, really nice bakery scents this reminds me definitely definitely reminds me of something from bath and body works i just maybe it's something with a peanut brittle i'm almost positive they had something that had like peanut brittle in it because this has peanut butter and i have not seen anything sensi has made with peanut butter and this would be the first one this smells so yummy so yummy but for sure definitely smells like something from bath and body works i just can't put my my nose on it we have here hugging a mug which i got for myself this one i was a little reluctant last year on whether or not i wanted to get this and then i smelt it again this year and i'm like i really want to get this one i feel like i actually will really like this then we have here pumpkin chai this one i also got for myself another one that i really 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 wanted to try oh my clamshells are like broken Oh, smells so yummy. Then we have here a breakfast in bed. This is, so I joined Scentsy last year in October. And this is one of the first, actually it was technically the second scent that I warmed up. I had this in my club. For some reason I took it out and then I regretted it. And I'm like, why did I do that? I'm so happy it came back. So, so happy because I love it. It's just, oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's literally like a warm filling pastry inside of your kitchen. This would definitely be perfect in the kitchen or the living room. Apple cherry strudel. So I was watching um, one of Elisa Roberry's videos and she said that this one's really good, but it's the performance isn't great, but it's a really good scent. I'm excited to smell this one. Smell. I'm excited to try this one. This is my number one favorite from the uh, fall collection. This is almond croissant. Okay, so technically they still had almond croissant throughout the spring and summer, but this to me, I don't wanna use it during the spring and summer. I just think that this is the perfect scent for fall and winter, so I don't, I just, I can't. This I have to use it only during the fall and winter. I don't wanna use it any other time because then it kind of just ruins it for me. Oh, this is so good. It's such a oh, nice warm, buttery croissant so freaking yummy then i got two of the cinnamon butter creams this one smells really 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 nice this is a really soft buttery warm scent oh, i love this one um yeah i my customers as soon as they sm smelled it they're like yeah i'm getting that then we have here berry blessed this one smells really nice really juicy really sweet I don't, there's very berry that's for sure this is like a lot of berry in here i think there's sugar a su sweet sponge sugar maybe yeah this is like basically a fruity berry sweet concoction red berry and spruce this is one that i actually chose so when i was choosing so i basically got 12 boxes for myself 
when I was choosing them, I'm like, I don't want any of the Christmas ones. I only want to get the ones that are targeted for fall. And this was the only one that I got that is more towards the like winter season. But man, this one, like this is like a Christmas tree and berries. Sweet, sweet berries, yeah. I really, really like this one. I actually used the, I had an extra tester for this one and I put it in the bathroom downstairs. I just wanted it in a small room since like I only had like a small little sample size and I loved it. So this one is really, really, really nice. Excited to try that one out. Then we have here apple and cinnamon sticks. This is another one that I also wanted to try out. Guys, I'm venturing. I'm telling you guys, I am venturing this year. Oh, this one smells so good. It's like, how do I not like enjoy these when I smell them initially? We also have here two of the cider mills. This one I'm really excited to try. Like I said, I really, really want to um, test this out and compare it to like how strong the scent scents are um, with the cleaning products. We have your Aluna Black Raspberry Vanilla. The first day of fall. We have your Homestead Holiday, which I chose for myself. Something on initial, like on the initial like smell for me was, it reminded me a lot of like winter, but it still reminded me a lot of fall. So I feel like this one can be used for either or. But this one is just pure. To me, I get a lot, a lot of cinnamon, but it's like a nice sweet cinnamon. I don't think there's apples in here, but I kind of sort of feel like I'm getting a little bit of apples. But this is just a nice, spicy scent. This one, I actually... So I actually wanted to try this one out last year, and I never got the chance to do that. And this one is Farmstead Pumpkin. This one... Did I say Farmstead? Farmstand Pumpkin. Oh, this one's so nice. This has pumpkins, and this has caramel, spices... I think it was the caramel note that it that really got me on this one and that's why I was like, oh, I really want to try this. Because I feel like I, I was smelling so much stuff that was like pumpkin and spices and pumpkin and spices and spices and cinnamons. But like, well, the same thing. Um, and I just wasn't getting something that was like pumpkin and spices and a little bit of a sweetness added in there that wasn't like, that it wouldn't categorize as completely being like a bakery scent, but... It still has a little bit of a sweetness, you know, a little kick of sweetness. That's all. That's all I asked for. Is that too much? So I'm excited to try that one out. We have here cashmere and corduroy. So my friend got this one and I told her, I'm obsessed with this one, guys. This is one of the new scents and I have this one going in my bedroom. I love it. This is a scent I didn't think would be for me. Usually it's, I don't know, just something like this I never would think whatever things change and which is good I love this one this smells oh it's just it's beautiful it's basically what cozy cardigan should have been for me or could have been because everyone loves cozy cardigan and I like it but I don't love it everyone's like oh it's perfect for your room blah 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 and I was just like no I don't really care for it this is my this would be my like my version of like a cozy card well not not my version, but you know what I mean? Like just a nice bedroom set. That's what it is. Like this is a perfect bedroom set. I love it. It's really nice. Okay, so then we have here salted caramel toffee. This one was a, it came out last year in a brick version. Oh my God. This is literally like butterscotch on something. Like it's, it's a lot of butterscotch. This is like a bunch of Werther's candies. Just, they all melted like in your car or something, and that's all you can smell. Like I can taste Werther's candy when I smell this. It's that intense, that intense. And then we got here a tinsel berry, also one of the new scents. And lastly, I have here apple butter. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm doing this way too early in the day and I'm just not, yeah. So apple butter frosting. This is another one I really, really wanted to try out. Also didn't get to try it last year. I think at this point I'm gonna end up trying out all the scents. Like all the scents. 
And then of course I saved this one for last because I've never smelt this one So this is like a first sniff for me So we're gonna see whether or not it is club worthy and of course it is Aladdin's three wishes so the scent notes for this are um, set the genie free big bold notes of juicy blueberry sugared plums and ripe blackberry burst over sparkling cranberry for a fragr fragrance with pheno phenomenal cosmic powers this has a lot of berries so blueberry blackberry cranberry and then the sugared plums so i'm expecting this to smell really sweet i've heard very good things about this um everyone seems to really love this and want to add this into their club so Let's see. Let's just see what I think. Okay. This is Berry Bright times 2000. Okay. Maybe that's me being exaggerative, but this is extremely, extremely berry licious, and I'm living for it. I think that I could actually replace this. I can actually replace Berry Bright. Like, if I had to choose between this and that, but I also have to see what the staying power of this is, or this, you know, the strength, how strong this performs. This is extremely Berrylicious. This, to me, smells like blueberries and cotton candy there is no cotton candy note in here but i think it's because of the sweetness that i'm getting that this smells really 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 juicy like extremely berry juicy it's very very juicy guys very juicy this smells so good if i like how this performs I'm actually going to take Berry Bright out of my club and replace it with this because there's no need for both of them in there. This one smells so good. Wow. This is delicious. Like, excuse me, my mouth is actually watering from smelling this. That's how good it smells. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And as always, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media platforms, which I will link down below. And if you're interested in shopping anything Sensi related, check out my website, veronicadominguez.sensi.ca. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.